Today's lesson will be lesson 5. We're going to be dealing with percentages. Changing them into decimals and changing them back into percentages. Example 1. Say we have 0.146 and we want to change this into percentage. First thing we want to do is multiply this by 100. When we multiply anything by a power of 10, it will move the decimal over to the right and if we divide it, it will move the decimal over to the left. Depends on how many zeros we have. So let's let's count 100 zeros. And 100, we have two zeros. So we got to move it to the right two places. So our decimal will end up right here. So the new number should look something like this if you multiply it all together. 14.6. And all you have to do next is add your percentage sign. So now you can say 0.146 and your percentage is 14.6. And that would be our final answer. Example number two, say we have 0.85. To change this, we'd have to multiply this by 100. Once we multiply this by 100, we move the two decimal places over to the right because of the two zeros we see here. So our final product would look something like this, 85. As you can see here, you can see the decimal on the end right here because we moved it two places over. You take this number and just add a percentage sign up, and you can drop the decimal place. So it's just 85%. So 0.85 change to a percentage is 85%. Example number three. Since we always multiply by 100 to change it into a percentage, we're always going to move it two places to the right. Any number that we get and receive, we want to change it to percentage. Say we have 0.855. Now we want to change this number into a percentage. Move the decimal over two places, then add the percentage side. And this is what we get, 85.5% from 0.855. And that would be our final answer. Example number four, say we have 1.26. And we want to change this number into a percentage. Move it over two places to the right, and you end up with 126. Now drop the decimal and add a percentage. 126% is our Final answer from 1.26. Example 5. This time we're going to change a percentage into a decimal. Now when we change it back from a percentage to a decimal, we're going to have to move it two places to the left because we're dividing by 100. So say we have 14.5%. To change this back into a decimal, you just divide this number by 100. Now you drop off the percentage sign and now you have a fraction. What happens to a fraction under 100? as you move it to the left two places because you have two zeros. Now we move it two places, let's just write it as is. So our new number is 0.145 and if you wanted to you can add the zero in front of it. So your final answer would be 0 0.145. Example number six, say we have 106 percent. Just remember to divide it by 100 and drop off the percentage sign. Once you have that you have your fraction. To take care of this fraction all you have to do is move the decimal over two places because the two zeros on the hundred. Remember to change the percentage into a decimal, you always move it two places to the left. So our new number should look like this, 1.06. And that's what we got from 106%. And that would be our final answer. Example seven, this will be our last example for the day. Let's change 285% into a decimal. Since we know that we're gonna divide by 100 to change this, we're just going to move the decimal over two places to the left. Don't forget your decimal, it's going to be right here, always at the end of a whole number. Drop the percentage, then move it two places to the left. So your new decimal place will end up right after the two. So your number should look something like this, 2.85. That came from 285%. Alright, thank you for watching. You can catch all of our videos on mymathmanual.com. Oh, I hope you catch us next time. Thank you.